worried and to get anxious and to act out of our own strength, Lord God. But help us to get in line with what you're doing, Lord God. Show us, Lord God, how to do that, Lord God. Show us how to trust you, Lord God. When it's so tempting to just rush ahead, Lord God. We just want to trust you, Lord God. Lord, we're living for you. We want to give you glory, Lord God. Just help us, Lord God. You know who we are. You know how frail and fragile we are, Lord God. Build us up from the inside. Just thank you for your goodness. Thank you that you're working in that situation. We're just going to continue into a time of ministry. We're going to continue to just really press in. There's something, you know, that Andrew shared and I really struck a chord with you. So I've got this thing that I really want to see happen. I know, but I just, I don't know how it's going to happen. I just, it's a big confusion. I just want to stand alongside you. We have a prayer team here. They're going to come and be among the front here, so feel free to come forward. You guys are very welcome to come and just to receive some ministry tonight. Also, I want to send out an invitation to anyone here tonight that hasn't accepted Jesus into their life. Now, if I looked at them, if I came and asked them tonight, do you know Jesus? Do you know that, that you're secure in his love, that you're going to go and be with him when you die? I want to give you an opportunity to respond to it, to turn away from trying to do things in your own strength and come to him do things in his his timing and his way. So I want to encourage anyone tonight, if you are just struggling with the Ishmael's and the Isaac's in your life, or if you, if you don't know Jesus and you want to be in a relationship, I want to encourage you to come up in front. Or maybe you just want to sit where you are, just allow the Holy Spirit to come and minister to you where you are as well. You're welcome to do that. 